Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can't wait for that. Oh, yeah, for what? Trevor, to ignore everything you say? No, to get all dressed up in a cute costume and take you trick-or-treating. Just a few years, okay, buddy? Yeah. By that time, we'll be chasing after two little chiefs. Speaking of, now that we've signed the papers, maybe we should set up an appointment. Done. I have a consultation with the fertility doctor scheduled for tomorrow. The sooner I get pregnant, the sooner I get back to my life. With Jake. Liza, you're blowing up. I'm, I'm, I'm blowing up? <laughs> Your cell phone. Here, oh. I'll trade you. Yeah. Thanks. Hello? Hey, uh, can you drop whatever you're doing? I'm fine, Jake. How are you? I'll, I'll, I'll be much better if you could just get your butt over to Confusion. Do me that favor, okay? Uh, uh yeah. And, um, Liza, thank you. Yeah, I gotta go out for a little while. Oh, really? Yeah, why? Did did you have some plans? No, it's just, um, never mind. It's cool. Well, I'm, I mean, I thought you would, you would welcome the chance to spend more time with Stuart. I do. Really, I mean, a slasher marathon's about to start, pizza's on its way, and I have the cutest little date in town. <laughs> what more could a girl want? Oh, you look to die for. <laughs> <laughs> you look bloody gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. The only blood I'm out for tonight is Annie's. Have you seen Zach? No, not yet, but it's about to go down any minute. Uncle Adam. Sorry. Uh, Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, whenever I look at that painting, I, uh, well, I see Stuart. And when I think of my brother, I think... How he died. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I do too. And if you ever want to talk about it, well, maybe it'll help you move on. You know what I think would help? A distraction. Getting out of this house and the memories and tonight's party is the perfect excuse. I left your costume by the bed. Why don't you go change? <laughs> go, go, go. Yes. yes. Back off. He's starting to remember Annie. And you can't keep it from coming oh, out. The hell I can't. Finally, pizza. When you have teeth, you'll understand. Damon. What are you doing here? You texted. I thought you were bored. Yeah, I didn't think you'd just show up. Nice place. Whose is it? This girl, Liza. Actually, she's not a girl. She's a woman. She's a friend. Of my parents. Okay, is this girl, woman, friend, home? She went out. So, in other words, we're alone. What the hell was that? So, what am I doing here? You've got 
to be kidding me. Well, now, hold on. You're going to you know, need this if you do the monster mash. Just, what? just... Uh. Be happy that I got you this skunk-headed puppy hater instead of, you know, I could have gone the mm. Freddy Krueger route, which I just think you would appreciate that I didn't go with stripes. Oh, Jake, come on. What? I'm, I, this is an emergency. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a colossal emergency. What, because you don't have a date for the costume party? No, no, I have a date. You're David's date. Wait a minute, what are you doing? What? You're not going to eat that. It's wrapped. It probably fell out of some kid's candy stash. Probably is not definitely. Oh, come on. Who smashed your jack-o'-lantern when you were a kid? I was just thinking about what you said earlier. About wanting to get back to Jake. I was hoping that you signed these papers because you legitimately wanted another child. Not because it was some means to an end. Well, first of all, you are the one that pitched it that way. And second of all, this new baby... Our new baby. ...is going to be just as loved as this little guy. You know, it's getting kind of cold out here. We should probably go. I don't want Trevor to get sick. Right. And you don't want to keep Jake waiting. Yes. I have plans with Jake. Do you have a problem with that? As long as those plans involve abstinence, no, no problem at all. Oh, God, no sex, I know. Good, because I wasn't sure if you really got that since you didn't come home last night. Wow. Why don't you just attach a GPS to my butt? David, you know what better yet? Why don't you get me one of those ankle monitors? I heard Annie Lavery's is free. All right, just, just relax, okay? You said I could see Jake whenever I want. And you can. But you better not even think about going behind my back, Amanda. If you put this child's paternity in question, I'm I telling you... I don't want you to threaten me, David. If anyone knows what's at stake here, it's me. Thank you so much for working with Zach. To prove Annie's guilt, I, I know that he was not exactly your first choice for partner in crime. I'm working on my first choice right now. That Kendall could actually come home, that she can be free to see her little boys, to, to be with Zach. No murder conviction hanging over her head. You know I want to see Kendall free. You know that. I do know that. And I know you're doing it for Emma. Yes, I am as well. Yes, she's just a different person. She's, she's lying now, and she's, she's on edge all the time, and Amy is the one that did that to her. But Emma will come out the other side. You will help her. It should never happen in the first place. I know. What if Annie gets away with this? She won't. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Because as soon as those drugs work on Adam to make him remember what happened, Adam is going to be first in line to string Annie up. He loves her. Not nearly as much as he loves Stuart. Adam is in a fragile state right now. You keep pushing him. He's going to break. Yeah, this, this isn't about protecting my uncle. You are out to protect yourself. And That's this cushy new life that you have managed to build. What about Uncle Adam's life? He has been struggling for months to make sense of my dad's death. You think the truth is going to make sense to him? Well, it has to be better than what he's okay. facing now. You know what? Test that theory. Test that theory. I dare you, Scott, and see what happens if you actually tell the truth. Maybe I will. Okay, because my guess, my guess is right now Adam's having trouble remembering, right? If you tell him the truth, he will have trouble breathing. Is that what you want? You want the poor man to have another heart attack? Well, you know what? If that's what you want, Scott, by all means, march up there and tell your uncle. Tell me what? 